to this segment on the Aviatrix Copilot. What I want to show you today is the power of a new feature we have within the multi-cloud network platform, and that's Threat IQ. What this feature allows you to do is analyze and look at all of the data that has gone, uh, that has transversed your uh, transit multi-cloud network and look for any activity with malicious and sus suspicious IPs. So here you can see that in this example, we have data over the last month from September 4th to October 5th. During that period of time, we've had five unique threat IPs and a total of 6, 000, over 6,000 uh, threat encounters. And during the period of time of data that we have stored in Copilot, we've seen over 26,000 total threat um, occurrences happen. Scrolling down, we can see the threat severity. Now this is threat severity is correlated to uh, the um, reputation that particular IP has based upon our Threat IQ database. And so you can see that um, for those 6,000 um, threat encounters, uh, 710 of those are seen as major. And so that means that uh, the reputation of that IP is known to be a malicious actor. And then you can see that um, 5,000 of those encounters were actually at an audit level. Now this means that the reputation of that IP may be associated with something that you normally wouldn't want your network to be in communication with, like Tor, and so you might want to investigate further. further. You can also see the threat classification um, of that transaction, and so you can see all of these are miscellaneous attacks. You can also see your threats over time during that month period of time where we had a spike, and then you can also see the total uh, threats uh, we've seen over that month um, and whether they're increasing or decreasing or staying the same. Scrolling down, you can drill a bit further. Uh, so here, let's just take a look at the first uh, major incident. So here we can view that. Uh, we get a nice topology view. And so here, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this apart uh, so we can drill in a little bit to actually see what's impacted. And so here you can see that uh, within this um, VPC, we have the egress um, gateway. And within that egress gateway inside this VPC, there's an additional subnet that actually has that IP that was reaching out to that malicious IP. If we want to know a little bit more, we can uh, scroll over to the tab for the flow data and drill in on the net flow. And we can actually see uh, the destination location, which is, of course, uh, public internet, the MAC address, and the destination uh, port and, I, and protocol. So this is SSH um, over port 22, as well as the information on uh, the source um, from which we were egressing. Uh, looking at the threat summary, you can see the where uh, the major classification came from. So the signature severity is major, and that's because it's a known of a poor reputation and, and where that information was obtained and when this information was last updated. Now, you could go a little bit further if you wanted to to try to figure out um, what exactly the uh, what the uh, flow information looks like for the severity level audit to compare that. So here you can see, uh, once again, we have an outbound transaction. And in this instance, uh, you can see that, um, once again, it's going off an egress VPC, but to a different egress um, gateway, uh, this one being in dev. And going to flow data, we can quickly see that this is NTP uh, port 123 um, time. So it might be a misconfiguration that that's reaching out to a Tor server for, um, for uh, network time. Uh, so you might want to correct that. Um, but uh, you can get that information both from the flow data, but also the threat summary to understand what the reputation of that um, IP might be.